Autobots transform. What's up, everybody? I'm George, 80 Transformer fan. I'm so excited to get these guys merged. And I'm going to get right to it without all the pre-introduction and all of that. I got them pretty much uh, what I feel will help me combine them faster. Uh, I got Hunger, obviously, in this alt mode with a sticker peeling on his head. And the other guys in their robot mode because they switch better, I think, to the limbs as is. So I'm going to start with a foot, a center twin, just uh, fold up his hands. Because he, he doesn't go full beast mode. He's pretty much in his robot form as a limb. Fold his head up behind him. Bring this back. And we tuck his arms away. Sort of to the back. Rotate his legs around. These actually transform up. Come around here. He has the most panels. I think uh, he's not difficult, but he's the most complicated out of the limbs. <laughs> he's more complicated to hunger as well. So close these little things up. Gotta line up. Snaps into place. Straight out the waist. Um, rotate his little port out that connects at the knee. I don't have it quite locked in. There it is. Snapped in pretty good. The dragon heads, um, I think they, they hang out reverse, but I turn them around because you actually think it looks cooler. Bring these little parts down to fill in your gaps. You just got to get a, the right way for the, uh, I think it swivels. You just got to get the right way for, and, yeah, and it tabs in right here. For these arms. The, to go swivel them around the forearm and again there's the tab and there's the slot and you just slot it in with his leg out of the way and tab it in a little bit of squeeze and yeah, it's tabbed in pretty good and he's just tuck around I guess like that and then you take his foot and you can make either side you can make this the front and you can have your uh Dragon heads out front, or you can make this the front, sort of more like G1 configuration. He's all done. So up next is Cutthroat. He's going to be our other leg, our left leg, and just just like Swoop. He's just like Swoop, Dynamite Swoop. You tuck his arms away. You turn them to the side so they can tab in right here on the sides of his hip. Rotate this so the purple part is facing forward. Tap into the sides of the hip and kind of squeeze them in accordion into the sides here. And his legs just accordion up. His is very simple. You don't have to open up any panels or anything. And accordion up. And you can see the two tabs just squeeze together. Then take his head, tuck it down. And I managed to fix his head since I did his review. To get it to hold on better. And I'm hoping as soon as I said it, it don't pop off. So tuck his head down right here I believe that's all you do his wings come down to the front and they, they have tabs here and here you tab in on the sides of his body and his legs just hang around hang out right here again so let me get his wing up And that's pretty much it. You take his foot. I already have the, the Prime Master in there. And here is the second foot. Coming over to Ripper Snapper. His arms swivel to the back. Again, there's the little tab. You tab that in. And you do the same thing over here, obviously. And you got his arms kind of pent down behind his back. You rotate his head. It's all one piece on this figure. It reveals the port. Oh, I think it stops right here. Cause, yeah, because he's the arm. And pretty much the legs, th th these stay the same because his legs and waist and robot mode become the elbow joint. And so they, uh, oh, and you got to pin the tail together. 
it's going to keep popping apart like I did. And the key is just to get it all lined up, which I'm not doing. All right, and, and that's pretty much it. You take the fist. And because he's going to be the left arm, I'm actually going to remove the thumb. It's on a ball joint because he has double thumbs. So if you didn't find all the guys, you can have duplicate guys and still build the builder figure, the build abominus. So, but anyway, I'm going to remove the thumb because, I mean, it's totally unnecessary and it looks a lot better. So, there is Ripper Snapper. Come on to Blot. Blot is pretty much the same thing. You tuck his hands away. All these guys, you tuck their robot hands away. Find a way to pin his arms back. He has the port here. It's the same thing. Same thing on everybody. And they're pretty much like the Combiner Wars guys as opposed to the Dinobots that had a lot of new tooling. Except for Swoop. Um, and you flip him around, his port just comes out halfway. You just flip him around just halfway. So the port is right there. Pretty much, uh, I think that's pretty much it on this guy. And you just take his hand, and again, I'm gonna take his color coordinated hand, pop the thumb out because he's gonna forever be the right arm because that's how I like it. That's how I just had it as a kid. Only had this guy, but that's how I had it. And he is now the right arm. It's as simple as that. That's pretty much it. All right, coming to Hunger. All right, he's a little bit more complicated to get in the main form. His his hind legs as a uh, dragon becomes the connection pieces to the legs. So I'm gonna get these out of the way. I, th I think I'm doing it right. Folding it up together. I think that's right. Um, turn them around. Is it, no, this is going to be the chest. So you take. Okay, wait. We're going to separate his legs. His legs help form the chest as well. Separate his legs. Open. Okay, if I open this up, this will help get his head out. His head comes out of here with the, with the antenna tucked away, which is very very clever. The chest plate comes up to here. You tap. There's a tab on the front of his head. And there's a tap at the front of the chest plate. Alright, and that helps get everything going. These fold around and down the dragon heads. And they fill in the gaps somehow. Let me get this tail out of the way, bring this tail to the back. Snaps in there. You take the little dragon legs. I know they swivel around and fill in some gaps. Or maybe they just they just come straight up. Okay, you swivel these around, bring them into the side, and they make the rest of the chest. Chest plate, chest plating. And he has some tabs on his toes to tab in right here. If I got it lined up correctly. Okay, yeah, I just didn't lock it down. I guess that's why it pays to read the instructions. Because I know this little tab has to tab in. No, it's not trying to tab in. I got to get this to lock down. Yeah, just bring it down some. It was bothering the heck out of me. I just couldn't move on <laughs> without getting it. It, did this, it tabs in right here. If it will tab in. All right, now, so that lines up a lot better. Now, now it's popping out. But it was just bugging me how it wasn't sitting there right. And I thought it felt, it felt right, but it wasn't right. So this is... Hunger in his full torso mode. I believe I have it transformed correctly. I don't know if these come up a little bit more out of the way. I don't know. Maybe looks a little bit better up there. I don't know. I don't know if that's official. I don't do instruction, so watch my review. This is what you're going to get. Raw. So he's all ready to be combined. So just like Combiner Wars and the Dinobots, um, we take. Cutthroat, he's going to be left leg. Just slide him in. And this actually is on like a little spring. You sort of kind of lock it in, but it's really unnecessary. But you kind of slide in, push that up. And there we have one leg. Take center twin. Slide him in. And again, just like Scramble City from the G1, any of these guys can be the legs or the arms. This is why uh, these two guys came with extra hands so if you only found two of them you can buy two of them twice and make them into arms but we're not going to need these 
and blot. It's going to be the right arm. And he slides. He slides in just here. If I can get it on camera. And it's, it's beautifully concealed as well. And it looks freaking awesome. He slides in right there. Ripper Snapper slides in on this side, right in there. And he looks amazing. Um, man, oh, you can get this little gun, port it in, so he can carry it around. It makes him look a little bit more menacing. I already have these guns ported in. You can also take the, uh, I keep calling it Prime Master, but it's the, the Enigma of Combination. And he has a, a compartment, it's a little secret thing in there. It goes in with a little plug at the bottom. Plug into his chest, which is just so cool. It really is. Plugs into the little secret thing, and then he has a little enigma of com combination in there. And every review I call it the Prime Master, but it is not. I know what it is, I just say it wrong every freaking time. Except for now, I'm trying to get it right for the combiner. And then you can take the... Uh, individual weapons because he has ports here and plug them in here so he's carrying around all the weapons or and also if you wanted to uh, some people use them as stabilizers you can use the extra hands then they can port in I'm getting it on camera and they can plug in and make it I don't know it looks kind of goofy but some people use them as stabilizers and you can take his again his weapon for storage so you don't lose it or whatever and plug that in as well to the back of his leg yeah I, I just love this thing it's leaps and bounds maybe because I did the Dinobots first Dinobots are trash compared to this thing and I don't know if it's because of the overall design where it's kind of, these guys are kind of straight up and down and the Dinobots have all a lot more bulk but it looks great even his gorilla arms don't look as bad as it did on the Dinobots because they're the same length but it, it looks a lot better he's a lot cleaner I mean, he has some of this kibble up here, but that's sort of how it was in the G1 too. Come around to his back, it looks pretty clean. Um, let me get this a little bit better. The, the, the back of the legs, I mean, for what it is, I mean, the parts have to go somewhere. And I think they pulled this one off very well. This is the best combiner that I've played with. I think I did Minasaur and I did the Autobots combiner. Uh, I can't remember his name, but Optimus Prime and other guys from... Combiner Wars, he's the best one I ever had my hands on. All right, let's take a look at Abominus articulation. In this moment, start with his head. Um, he looks left and right, obviously. His head should do a full 360. And he has no up and down. I can't believe they didn't put these guys' head on a ball joint just to get it up and down to look up, which would have been very, very nice. But none of these combiners that I'm aware of can look up and down. Coming to his arm. Pretty strong ratchet in there. It's coming out as opposed to rotating. Let me try to turn it this way. All right, it has a 360. You can hear it clicking, coming to his elbow. It can swivel and bend up. Get this much out of it. Bring it back down. Swivel it. Uh, you can raise the arm out to the side that far. And he should. He should stand up. Let me get my feet straight. Yeah, he can stand up with the weight out to the side still. And coming down to his hand, it's just you saw it just pegged in. So at 360s, and that's pretty much it. The fingers, which I just folded up, the fingers just go in and out. They're all hinged together. And then he has the ball jointed thumb. And this guy, I don't think he has anything at the waist. He didn't have it in dino mode. Or dragon mode, and it's a shame because it's just this little piece they could have put some type of cut in there. And uh, he totally has the clearance to do it, but he does not rotate at the waist. His leg, and I, I know his foot is real heavy, so I don't expect this to hold. But you bring it up this far, and it's going to come back down. I probably could build that joint up, but I mean, I'm not going to have him pose with one leg in the air anyway. But they could have put a harder ratchet in there for that. and he has a swivel at the upper thigh you can 360 completely and you can bring the leg back up and hold it bend him at the knee and again he can swivel it back and forth 
Now, I guess you can hold it like this if you bend it down and it's like less pressure on that hip joint. In the foot, you can swivel it back and forth and it has a little rocker in there. And you can hear it. You can see little teeth back there. And that's pretty much for his articulation. Yeah, he balances well enough so he can, with his arms, even out in front of him, he's not falling over from the weight with those big bulky arms. He's standing there. A lot of figures would crash to the ground with that weight out in front of him. And it's a, it's a shame that he doesn't have a gun or a sword or something. Because I think all the weapons that he come with are tabbed in or plugged in in this uh, combiner mode to his combiner form. So he really, he, do, he doesn't have a weapon at all. So third party there. I was going to say you don't need a third party for this figure because of the hands and the head. I think the hands are, are you pop that thumb off and it's pretty cool. And the feet, the feet could be better, but they're not that bad. So, but, I mean, if third party probably going to sell hands and a gun together, so I probably would get a gun. I mean, he just needs a gun or a weapon. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Slide them to the side, bring in my G1. My G1 is configured a little bit different. This is how I always had it. Uh, with the feet, with the legs reversed. And I probably could have switched around for the tour review, but I'm not because I like it like I like it. And I like this one the way he is too. So here are side by side. You can see how they use the dragon heads to duplicate the flare on the, the chest plate over here. And then the rest of it is pretty much faithful. Which is very, very cool. They kind of skipped on the purple hands to go with the color coordinated hands for the figures. Okay, real quick I want to show you the attention to detail from the G1. If you take a look at the stickers here. They brought the stickers over here as molded detail. In here and in here. I think we, we lost a little bit of blue. That didn't translate over, but the little lines here became like little ventilation over here. They lost the blue. These little like turbine things in there were brought over and done in a lot more detail here. The little stickers here became painted and molded in detail in there, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And if you take a close look at his head, he has like some little vents of turbines, little circular things that have some sculpt in there and they came over here and faithfully recreate the exact same thing. And let's zoom in on the face. They, they put the visor on his head. Well, they made it a visor and they made it more angular and this is separate eyes and they're just straight across. But yeah, they, they totally, totally uh, paid homage to the G1 when making this and that's why I love it. All right, everybody, this is how he scales with Volcanicus. And here's how he scales with Powers of the Prime, Rodimus Prime. And here's how he scales with Titan's Returns, Cup. All right, to wrap this review up, I love this figure. Uh, he's everything the G1 should have been and I wish I had as a child. The only things I don't like about it is the fact that the waist ratchets could have been a little bit stronger so they could hold the leg up. You can hold the other uh, weight up when you lift it up and he could have came with a weapon a gun a sword or something he, he should have really come with a weapon because he's just barehanded out there and i guess the whole point is the combiner but still he, he definitely definitely should have came with a weapon but i really love this figure he's on shelves now if you see him i suggest you collect them all pick them up make a bombinous and i am george a transformer fan and i'll see you soon Transform!